frozen on ice. The frozen sugar is good for that one. And then I will get, is that a crazy? Okay, so Lindsay got a turkey bacon sandwich. And then of course some more beignets along with a iced coffee and powerade from last night that's frozen. This is breakfast for us on Wednesday morning in New Orleans. And we are at Cafe Beignet. And we have heard that these beignets are better than Cafe Du Monde. They actually look bigger though. Yeah, they are bigger. I was just about to say. Bigger. I don't know. This sandwich looks very scant on the meat. But it probably has good meat. Okay, so let's just do this. I'm gonna eat this. It's hot. Look how puffed out this one is. I'm gonna eat this one. Mm. Oh my god. Isn't that like sticky dough? Mm, there's nothing I love more sticky dough. Is it better? So, one thing first, they're not that heavy on the powdered sugar, like Cafe du Monde is, like they're like overpowering. But this is like, really, look at this, get into this. Look at this. Oh my god. Alright, let me take one more bite. And I'll tell you if it's better. Damn. Way softer, mm -hmm. and they're not so heavy on the sugar. I I really like that. The real fun. Mm -hmm. real. Yeah, and Thomas thinks that this one, I know, there's like blenders and all types of stuff going. So Thomas says that this is better than the Cafe Du Monde too. So I would recommend coming here, <laughs> but still try Cafe Du Monde. <laughs> oh, look at that. Here we are at the gumbo shop. So is the sauce and the shrimp. Okay. So it got skin in it, cause you know. I'm not sure. I think so. Oh. But you can't really taste it. Okay. I need the sauce. 
not so flavorful, but it, I mean, it's good. It's a um, tomato-based sauce with a shrimp. All right, so now we're gonna try the gumbo. This is red beans and rice, and this is um, seafood gumbo. So let's start with the seafood gumbo, because that's what I came here for. All right, okay, so in here there's shrimp. You wanna get into this thing? Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, ready? I'm, I'm gonna get a shrimp in here. Okay. okay, so the okra taste on here is really, really strong. And um, it's, it's a really, you see this? This is all okra. But. I like okra, so it tastes good to me. But for some people, it may be like a texture thing. But I like this. Okay, your turn. He's like in love with this mashed potatoes. You don't really eat okra. It's kind of strong in there, I know. Okay, let's do Let's do the red beans and rice. Okay, let's start. I actually ordered red beans and rice and sausage, but all he came with. Mm -hmm. oh, on, the, on the shrimp. Okay, and then they gave me just red beans and rice. Um, sorry, you can't see that too well. Okay. That's bon appetit. Probably would have been really good with some sausage, but um, one more time. The beans are really good. They're pretty skip on the rice, but good turn. I like it. I just wish I had some meat. It kind of tastes like Popeye's red beans and rice. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. But a little bit less flavor. Mm. Yeah. Actually, um, it tastes like Popeye's, um, but Popeye's has a little bit more flavor. A lot more flavor, but it's good. Like I said, the sausage is probably what gives it the flavor. And I'm missing that, so. All right, so she decided the red beans and rice and the junk gumbo, my bad, was some shit. She didn't need it. I ate all the catfish and the shrimp, so she ordered a side of jambalaya. Tomato base, which is originally a tip tomato base, a little bit spicy. Um, it's good. Main ingredients, muddy water again. <laughs> so sure. <laughs> I like to jump away from my thing. That's a try.